Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday, August 9th. Um, I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope that you woke up this morning with a positive intention, with love in your heart. I know every morning I go to the Lord and I ask Jesus to come into my heart and to save me, um, to help me to be the best version of me, um, to be aligned with what he wills for me. Uh, every morning I do that and I talk to him all during the day. So I hope you guys are feeling really happy, loved, because you are very loved um, and very positive about today. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, the angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what's in the current energy, guys. Truth and only truth for the collective. If you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube, please do. It's free to, free to download, free to subscribe. And I do have a second channel, The Gifted Dragonfly. I um, can't remember what the numbers are after it. It ends in OH, though. Um, and I do only Virgo readings on that channel. So, all right. Current situation for the collective, please. Current situation, Holy Spirit. Current situation. The lovers. Now, this can represent new love. This can represent past love. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. It's a choice in love. Someone is making a choice in love. All right. What is the challenge? Woo. The challenge. Page of Swords in reverse. Someone uh, said a lot of mean, spiteful things. Someone could have been lying or slandering someone. So now that's a challenge because of what they've done. Wow. Okay. All right, what is the focus? Six of Swords. Somebody's focused on you moving on to calmer waters, being led by the spiritual realm to peace. Six of Swords is moving on to peace. And that's what someone's focused on. I know this. I know what's coming out here. I know the storyline here. So, you know, it looks like this is a case of someone made a decision. Um... They did a lot of things that were reckless, that were shameful against you. And now that you're gone, this person is being forced to reflect on their decisions. All right, past energy. Past energy. Yeah, look at that. The blockage, five of swords from the past. The blockage was this person was playing mind games. They wanted to win at all costs. They didn't care if they hurt you. They, they lied so much about you, and uh, look at this. This person was bound to the devil. This person was being manipulated by the devil to try to destroy you. It's, okay. Which collective strength, please? Collective strength. What is collective strength? Yeah, so your strength is you saw through the illusion with the Seven of Cups. You knew what a happy home should look like. You knew what a loving environment should look like. You saw through the illusion, and that's a strength for you. All right. Holy Spirit, um, near future. Near future, please. Near future, please. Yeah. Near future, uh, somebody wants to heal the situation. Somebody want, has, is making a decision with the two of wands to the four of swords. Somebody's making a decision to heal a situation with a queen of pentacles. Someone that's very grounded and stable, financially secure, abundant, creative. Um, someone that's very nurturing. So someone is making the decision now. Now they want to heal a situation. Now that collective energy is gone. Moving on. All right, let's see. What is the advice, Holy Spirit? What's the advice? What's the advice? Wow, that's pretty pretty loud and clear. Two of swords, keep this person blocked. The cycle is over with the world. Keep this person blocked. That's the advice from the spiritual realm. We have free will, though. You can choose to go back to a cycle and repeat it, you know? But the advice from the spiritual realm is keep this person blocked. All right, in the environment... In the environment, please.
Yeah. In the environment, people see you as this empress energy. And I love that the Blessed Virgin is on this card. Isn't it? Isn't she beautiful? In the environment, people see you are this true divine feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman. And with the Eight of Cups, you walked away. And they are also seeing your past person is in a nightmare. They're in a nightmare. Look, with the sun, truth's coming to light. Whatever was done in the dark is coming to light with this third party for greed. Yep, it's all coming to light. All right, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Yeah, you see, someone's afraid. You have your boundaries up and the spiritual realm protects you. And this person's afraid that they're not going to be able to come in and work with you again. Three of Pentacles. This can also be this person knows that they've worked with others to come against you, but you're protected. They know that it's over with the death card. They know that it's over. And they're stuck. They're stuck where they are. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. They rushed in toward this Queen of Wands. Now, it doesn't have to be an Aries Leo Sag. This can be someone that's just sexual in their energy. That's what I'm getting with these cards. Um, they're stuck with this person. They may have married this person with the Hierophant here. They took this reckless action because they wanted to make you jealous. Five of Wands. They wanted to make you jealous. They wanted to hurt you. But you, after all this person already put you through, you weren't jealous. You looked at this person going to someone else as liberating you, freeing you. You, you were no longer going to carry the burden. So the karmic that they chose took that burden from you. They did. They took that burden from you. All right. So it backfired, essentially, is what I'm saying. It backfired. All right. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Potential outcome, you are going to have a four of wands, a divine union, a high level soul connection, someone that will give equally to you. Potential outcome, this is justice. Those scales are being balanced out for you because that's what you deserve. You could also see an increase in your creative projects, your career, your finance. If you have a business, there could be an expansion of your business. That's beautiful. All right, let's see what else we get, guys. Whew. I might have to turn the fan on. It's so crazy because, you know, in Kentucky, I was having all these hot flashes. In Florida, where it's hot, I'm not having them that much. So I don't know. That's pretty interesting. But I'm grateful. Totally grateful. All right. Holy Spirit. Let's clarify the lovers for the collective. One more. Oh, my goodness. I hate when they fall on the floor, Spirit. I'm in a tight space. Yeah, so here's the thing. This lover, someone someone chose a karmic partner, you know, and now the wheel is turning in your favor and against this person, and now they're coming to the realization they made the wrong decision. Two of wands in reverse. They made the wrong decision. Yeah, look at that. Hold on. Ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. They're going through a very painful ending. This is the same ending they put you through. Look, that's, that's the spiritual realm. That's God bringing judgment upon them. Um, the challenge is this challenge, this person's challenge, because they know that, you know, that they were, they were spying, they were slandering, they were bad mouthing you, trying to destroy your reputation. They know that, you know, you're aware of it. Please clarify the challenge page of swords on the fence. Yeah. See the moon in reverse. Anything that was secret, that was done in the dark, that they did against you is revealed. And they're challenged by this. They're being exposed. All right. Um, the focus, you're focused on moving on to calmer waters. The spiritual realm is guiding you to a peaceful life. Please clarify focus. Six of swords, focus. Please clarify the focus. Yeah, two of swords. You're keeping this person blocked. You're taking a brand new leap of faith. You're moving on in peace. Moving on in peace. Past energy, the blockage here. Someone was playing all these mind games. They were doing everything to mess with your mind, uh, to manipulate people around you. This was all a game to this person. 
This person only cared about not being the one that was to blame. This person did a lot of nefarious things. And you're aware of it. Past energy. On the fence. We'll see what that is. Yeah. So the blockage, they're not going to make any progress. They're not even gaining wisdom. The, each side, one is making progress, the other is gaining wisdom. It's the blockage. Not only are they not gaining any wisdom, they're not learning any lessons, but they're not going to make any progress in life because of these, these actions, these decisions. All right, your strength is you saw through illusion. You knew what a happy home, a happy life looks like, an equal energy exchange. Please clarify collective strength. Yeah. So you said, you know what? If you can't give it to me, I will go out on my own. I will build something on my own. I will I will heal and I will find my my inner light. I will be confident in who I am. I will love myself. And that's what you did. And that's a strength for you. You healed those wounds, those codependent wounds that led you to this person, that led you to hold on to this person. You see this person for who they are. And it's a strength for you because you had the courage to go off on your own because you knew it was way better than what this person was offering you. You knew you deserved the real 10 of cups. That was a blessing. All right. Near future. This person wants to come in and heal the situation with you. They're making a decision in the near future to heal something with a queen of pentacles. Someone that's very grounded, stable, financially secure. You could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart, but you don't have to. It's just the energy of someone being very stable and creative, nurturing, near future. Yeah, because look, four of cups, they're feeling sorry for themselves. Instead of it being, being accountable, owning up to what they've done, accusing themselves to society, because that's who they manipulated as people in the environment, um, they just would rather sit in the, in the self-pity, feeling like they missed an opportunity. They're going to carry the weight of karma until they do the right thing. And then they still have to pay off their karmic debt, you know. But it's definitely going to help if they do the right thing. Uh, the spiritual realm said the advice is to keep this person blocked. Advice for the collective. Advice for the collective. Hmm. Advice for the collective. One more. Yeah. See, this person that wants to reconnect, they could be a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. They don't have to be. This just can be someone that is ego-driven, selfish, self-absorbed. This person wants to reconnect because they don't want it to end. They're trying to block this ending between you two. But it's not up to them. It's not up to them. God's already released you from this person. For most of you, and if you are still having issues do more cord cutting, okay? Pray about it and do more cord cutting. In the environment, people can see you're this empress energy. They know why you walked away, and they can see your past person is in a nightmare. Please clarify the environment. Yeah. They see that this person is now in this wounded warrior energy, that they're being abandoned or rejected, or they are in financial ruin based on their free will choices they made. To not only throw you to the curb, your, their gift and blessing, but then to try to destroy your life, which was, it, lead, it, it added insult to injury in the spiritual realm. All right, uh, hopes and fears, but this person's afraid. They could be afraid because they worked with a group of people and they're actively working with a group of people because it's in the upright and you're protected. So this person may be afraid of repercussions. What does this mean to me? If nothing I'm doing with this group of people is affecting the collective energy because they have divine protection, what does that mean to me and the consequences I will face? That's what I feel. Hopes and fears. Yeah, the cycle's over. The cycle's definitely over and they are facing judgment. Definitely facing judgment. All right, what I would say to this person from your past, you need to go to Jesus. There is no sin that he will not forgive you for. You know, my grandpa, he lived his whole life in a space of ego. He was a very prideful, arrogant man. And he had, um, 
he had gallbladder surgery. And while he was in the hospital, I had this urge. Like, I can't even tell you how strong this urge was to get to him. Like, I have to get there. I have to tell him about Jesus. It was the most urgent desire I felt. And I didn't know why, because it was just gallbladder surgery. So I went in, and and this is not a man that he was an architect. This was not a man that you gave advice to. This is not a man that you, you preached to. He was just very, he was arrogant. He was. And when I went there, I said, I said to him, Grandpa, I said, Jesus will forgive you for anything, but you have to ask. You have to ask. And I had a Sacred Heart prayer card, and I positioned it on his side table to face him. And he said, oh, I know, Tasha, I know, I know. So I said, I'm going to leave this prayer card for you. And you know, after I left, um, my grandpa, he, within a day or two, he fell asleep. And he woke up screaming and crying and praying and, and crying out to God, crying out to Jesus. And he told the nurse that he went before the gate to heaven and he met St. Peter. And St. Peter said to him, said to the line of people behind him, who among you uh, find this man worthy? And my grandpa said, everyone in the line did this. And he woke up crying out to the Lord for forgiveness. Do you know that was the last time my grandfather was um, conscious? He went into a coma and he died after that. Apparently during the gallbladder surgery, they nicked his bowel and he died. But I truly believe that saved him. Jesus saved him. I'm getting a knot in my throat. I don't know why I want to tell you this story. So don't ever fear that your sins are too big. It doesn't matter what you did. Go to Jesus and ask him for mercy and forgiveness, and and it will be had. You will have it. And then change your life every day. Do your best. Okay. Potential outcome, you're calling in a divine union. This is justice for you. Things are aligning in your favor because that's what you deserve. Potential outcome. Potential outcome, please. Yep, validation. Two of cups. You're calling in a high-level soulmate. Look at this. How beautiful that leads to everlasting joy and happiness. That ten of cups that you weren't willing to give up on in your strength position is now coming to fruition. That's beautiful. It's your strength and courage to not accept less than you deserve that's bringing in this blessing. It's justice. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, not in my throat. Okay. All right. Let's see, guys. Let's do another round. Um, current situation. Somebody chose a karmic partner. Now they're facing karma while things are aligning for you. They know they went down the wrong path. They made the wrong decision. Um, please clarify current situation. Holy Spirit. Current situation current situation yeah you see with the knight of pentacles this person took no action to make amends to be accountable they just continued with the lie to save face so they wouldn't be judged by other people but now they're experiencing a lot of bad news they've been in this energy for so long everything is falling apart for them and that's really what i feel everything is falling apart you know with a challenge, somebody's challenged because the blockage here is all the lies are being exposed. All of the things they've done in the dark, the lying, the slandering, the manipulation, it's all coming out. And they're challenged because they know you're aware. They know you're aware. Please clarify the challenge. That came out quick. Over the four of cups. Devil. This person's bound to toxic energy. This person uh, could have demonic attachments. They could have addictions. Um, to drugs or alcohol, sex, money, you know, and I'm going to tell you right now, if, if you have addictions like this that run your life, you have an attachment, you have a dark attachment, you have the, the enemy working inside of you, 100%. And so this person's challenge, they're stuck in this, they're stuck in the evil. Wow. All right. And, and you know what? Right now, they could be juggling a lot mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. This person feels so imbalanced. Uh, the focus, you're focused on moving on and blocking this person out of your life, out of your energy. Focus. Focus. 
focus. Yeah, things are progressing quickly for you. The wheel of fortune is being aligned for you. What's faded is being aligned for you. You're at the top of that wheel now because you follow God's guidance. You did the right thing. Okay. Whoops, I put it on the wrong one. No, I didn't. Okay, so the past energy, this person, the blockage was the blockage in your relationship. They were playing all these games. They wanted to destroy you. They wanted to win. They wanted to save face. They wanted to project the blame on you. They tried to turn everyone against you. They lied. They lied. Because of this, they will make no progress. There is nothing positive that's going to happen in their life. They're being blocked. They haven't, they refuse to learn the lesson. All right, please clarify past energy. Yeah, you see in the past, this person put you through hell in a living nightmare. This person put you in the wounded warrior energy. And they were gloating about it. At the time, their ego was, that, that demon in them was feeding their ego and they, they got this sick pleasure from doing this to you. It's sad. It's very sick. Like it's sociopathic, psychopathic energy. Yeah, but with the sun here, all, all was exposed. God gave you the truth. You knew the truth. You know, your strength is seen through illusion and not giving up on the Ten of Cups. What, what true divine love and a marriage and a family looks like. So you said, you know what? I'm not going to settle. I'm going to go alone. I'm going to go off alone. I'm going to learn my lessons. I'm going to find my value and worth. I don't need this type of relationship that would do these things to me. 2211 on my timer. You came into union with the divine so that you could have a new beginning, a healthy new beginning. Collective strength. And good for you. God's proud of you. Yeah, you embraced the new alone. And it was scary. Maybe you've never been alone. You know, when I left my marriage, I had never even had my own bedroom in my entire life. I had never been alone. But my self-worth, self-respect was, was too strong to let fear keep me from leaving a situation that was so toxic. It was the best decision I ever made. I'm proud of myself because I know the hell I went through and I know how hard it was. But I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I had the courage to do it. In the near future, this person wants to re heal the situation. Yeah, they want to reconnect. They're making a decision to come toward a queen of pentacles, someone that's grounded, stable, loving, nurturing, creative. This person hasn't done anything to be accountable. They haven't done anything but feel sorry for themselves and perhaps get other people to feel sorry for them. Um, near future. Yeah, they're going through the Ten of Swords. They're going to go through that same pain, deception, betrayal, people turning their back on them, people closest to them, like they got to turn against you. That's what's going to happen to this person. Yeah, the regret is going to be off the chart for this person. Yeah. All right. In the advice section, they said, cut this person off. Keep them blocked. This king of wands, self-absorbed, uh, very arrogant energy, wants to reconnect. They're trying to block this ending. Please clarify advice. Please clarify advice. Yeah, this player just wants to bring their burdens to you, whether it's financial burdens, mental, physical, emotional, whatever it is. This player just wants, it hasn't changed. They just want to bring their burdens to you. You already know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. In the environment, people see you're an empress. They know why you walked away. They see your past person in a living nightmare in this wounded warrior energy. They also see this person being abandoned, rejected, or in financial ruin in the environment. Yeah. One more, please. In the environment, people know this person tried to block the truth. That this person was hiding the truth. They also see that you are moving on. You have your back turned to the past. You are manifesting your dreams, your desires. You're making new investments. You're not interested in the past. You're done with the past. You learned it. You learned it. It's a tough lesson, but you learned it. Um, also, someone's in fear here. They work with a group of people, and they see that you're heavily protected. And I think this person is afraid now because they know what they've been sending your way, whether through black magic, 
whether it's through their words, their thoughts, and the cycle is over. But they're also seeing nothing's happening. It's not working. So this person I feel is afraid of the repercussions for their actions. Hopes and fears for the collective. Hopes and fears. Yeah, this person is also afraid because they know you have closed your heart to this person. You've leveled up. You know this person is not at your vibration, not at your level. Um, and your heart is blocked. You see, she's got her arms crossed over her heart chakra. You have this person blocked out of your life for a reason. Yeah, you have this earth angel energy. You're sweet, you're loving, you're kind. You always want to help other people in whatever way God guides you to do that. Yeah, this person tried to destroy an earth angel and their divine partner. That's very sad. Wow. All right, a potential outcome. You're calling in a divine union, a soulmate, high-level soulmate. This is justice for you. Please clarify potential outcome. Potential outcome. Yeah. You know, you are this loving, kind, empathetic energy. You're highly intuitive. You're this Queen of Cups energy. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. But with this person, you are the Queen of Swords. You're cold as ice. Because you know the truth. The Queen of Swords is very analytical. She does not use her emotion when she makes decision. And when it comes to a past person, you stick to the facts. You were present for the pain, the suffering. You were present for the words this per spoke, per person spoke to you. And so you don't, you're not mincing any words when it comes to this person. You are going to say the truth and that's it and cut them out. You're not interested in mind games. You're interested in divine love. And that's what you're calling in, divine love. Because that's the vibration that you operate in, is divine love. Wow. That's beautiful. Can I have one more? Current uh, potential outcome. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating this victory, success, public recognition. You're going to be celebrating this. Um. It's so weird because this was under the bottom of the deck. Whoever did an injustice to you is going to experience massive endings. It's this greedy person that was constantly plotting and planning, spying to see if what they were doing was working against you. This person was noncommittal, but they didn't, they didn't take account that the spiritual realm was going to guide you and you would have victory, multiple wishes coming in. Yeah, you're God's baby. You're so connected with God, with, with Jesus, with the spiritual realm, your angels, your guides. You have so much love in your heart. You want to love everyone. You want to help everyone. You're this beautiful Ten of Cups energy. You know, and this person that's delusional, they're in heartbreak. This could have been someone that should have been a divine masculine. Instead, they fell from grace and became a liar, a cheater, and a snake, obsessed with lust, what they could gain. Now they're going to be left out financially physically man this is a, you know a tough lesson for this person to learn a really tough lesson and you you probably in the high priestess energy warn this person don't do this it's going to be a big mistake you're going to be sorry they didn't want to listen their ego the demon in them was running the show feeding their ego giving them sick pleasure out of causing you great pain and suffering it's really sad. But you know what? Even this person could seek redemption from our Lord and would receive it. If they fell to their knees and they cried out to the Lord and they were truly sorry, they would receive redemption. But they have to do more than that. This person has to be accountable. This person has to speak the truth to the world. This is, this is how they show the Lord that I am truly sorry. I'm sorry enough that I will speak the truth and I will accuse myself of the things I've done. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. All right. Um, Holy Spirit, who's this reading about, please? Oh, you know what? I wanted to get some from my deck, too. All right. Cancer on the bottom of the deck. We have the letter C. We have Sag. We have G. We have A. We have a Z. We have D. H. 
Pisces, Capricorn, oops, Virgo, J, Scorpio, Libra, L, Gemini, W, V, and N. I'm just going to do it that way, guys. All right, let's get some from my deck real quick. And if you guys like me doing one and, and two parts, I can do that. Um, you know, make it an extended and get more information about what's going on. I can certainly do that. Maybe I'll do a part two today, and then you guys can give me feedback on if you would like me to do that. Do a part one and then extend it to a part two to get more information. All right, let's just get some from this deck. Holy Spirit. And I am still selling this deck if you guys are interested. Yeah, you see, your past person, they have this karmic feminine in their energy that's been doing a lot. Of, this this karmic feminine is so jealous of you. Could be a masculine too. Take flip or switch the roles, but so jealous of you, which is, is mind boggling, you know, but here's the thing. And this came to me yesterday. You ask yourself, why would, if, if this homewrecker energy, if you were married, destroyed your union and your person chose this karmic why would they be jealous they got what they wanted remember how your person treated you how your person tried to make you feel insecure how your person tried to put you in competition with other people constantly making passive aggressive comments about your looks or your weight or anything to make you feel insecure or they constantly told you about how this person was flirting with me that person was flirting with me your past person's doing the same thing to the karmic. So you wonder why they're jealous? Your past person's playing those same games with the karmic energy. So you're protected from this karmic feminine who's doing a lot of dark things. You also have karmic fa family members that, for some of you, that have been projecting on you as well. The spiritual realm is also protecting you from them. All right. Yeah, you have your ancestors protect you at night. A lot of dark projection at night. Yeah, praying for your death. I mean, that's just sick. You're protected. Yeah, this masculine, this should have been a divine masculine, completely embrace the dark. They're a narcissist. This is a narcissistic energy. Whether they have the diagnosis or not, that's what's coming out. Look at that. They have no idea that all of their obsessions their addictions stem from this guy right here the devil yeah you have new opportunities they want you to take the risk your ancestors are definitely helping you and guiding you Yeah, these people that are fake, you know, operating in the 3D and their ego, they're going to have um, spiritual disease or STDs as part of their karma. Yeah, you have happiness, joy, and emotional fulfillment. That's the Ten of Cups energy. And you may be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities, signs in nature. Yeah, you're receiving messages through your thoughts, your words, uh, dreams, visions. Thoughts, words, dreams, or visions. Yeah, and somebody's been doing dark magic spell work or sending negative energy. This can be the person that wants to reconcile. Now, does that make any sense? You want to rec reconcile with someone, but you're paying practitioners. You're sending negative energy. That's sick and twisted. Yeah, they're bound to a gold digger, and they're receiving karma with justice. Whatever they're sending, don't worry. You're protected by St. Michael. We love you, St. Michael. Thank you. Yeah, look, protected by St. Michael. They tried to cast you out with a group of people and this third party. You could be relocating. There could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag involved. In the near future, this is the person that's slandering you is going to go through an ego death. They were the stalker. Wow, yeah. All right, guys, let me just get a couple advice cards and then we'll go on to the part two. You guys are amazing. You're beautiful. You have such loving, sweet energy. 
I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for your love, your support, your donations. You mean the world to me. You really do. It's just, um, I hope I express it enough. I hope you know that. You all are just like angels to me. All right. We got, you are receiving messages. Pay attention to your thoughts. Yeah, we got that. Um, you are receiving signs. We also got that. Pay attention. We also got this. St. Michael is with you, protecting you. Wow. Don't let fear of the unknown stop you. And keep a dream journal. You're getting messages in your dreams as well. I love how that validated. Pray like it's your job. I would say yes. And our what's going on in the world right now, we need to pray like, like we, never before. Like never before. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you on the next part. Have a great day. Bye-bye.